NASA claims that we successfully landed man on the moon six times between 1969 and 1972. Here we are in 2016 and NASA constantly tells us that we can't go beyond low Earth orbit. Low Earth orbit is between 99 miles and 1200 miles away. The moon is claimed to be 238,000 miles away. That's a big difference. One. NASA's next spacecraft, already being built and tested across America, will do those things and more. This is the spacecraft that's going to take humans to explore uh, the solar system. It's the next big step for NASA in exploration. Called the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle, or MPCV, this next generation spacecraft will enable America to explore beyond low Earth orbit. Two. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Three. The plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is, that is much bigger than what we have today. And it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to, via, to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is gonna allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Four. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on Space Station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. So we have a really robust exploration program at NASA. Five. And unlike the previous program, we are setting a course with specific and achievable milestones. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. So how did we send humans to the moon six times so early on, but we can't figure it out in 2016? How was it so easy to go to the moon in 1969 using this flimsy lunar module? Even more interesting, who was already on the moon filming the arrival of the module? Was it the same person who stayed back on the moon and filmed the departure of the module? Four days. Four days. Four. Mission arm is out Okay, I'm gonna get the pro. 99, proceeded. Three, two, one. <laughs> Mission. Right away, Houston. Bet you're good. Ag thought. Just wondering. This is ODD TV. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Dalton Spurlock, and my question is for Kate. Why is it not possible to physically land on or explore other planets? Well, it is physically possible. We've sent humans to the moon. The United States has uh, proven that we can actually land uh, people and a large amount of equipment on another body. Well, why don't you just put the end to the record in the argument 
to put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Yeah. Cyber, knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. Why don't we're you there. talk to the administrator in NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. Of course. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get well, the I'm out. I'm out. I'm Get the hell out of the house. Well, I hate your stuff and get the f out. Why don't you quote me and say it's bull? I'm in the shadows in Iraq. I don't give a, I don't give a damn about all that. Shit I can do. You're the one who said you walked in the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black if I ever thought of it. Saying I misrepresented myself. Get my away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. You want me to knock you in the head? Well, I want you to I want you to swear Get to God on the Bible you. that you walked on the moon. Okay. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you. Don't leave me alone. Watching them lie through their teeth, carrying on yep. a hoax that is so outrageous that they're they're beyond human. They couldn't cover it up. They no, were just human. You, you, exactly. You can see on Neil Armstrong, particularly, oh, he, has to say, yeah. he doesn't want to lie. This guy just doesn't want to lie. No. He's looking down. He just doesn't want to say anything. This is why he didn't give any interviews for the rest of his life. Look at that. Please do look at that, folks. YouTube video of the first Apollo uh, crew to press come back conference. at oh. press conference. It is. It's really embarrassing. I mean, it's just embarrassing. It was, The lie was so big that they couldn't. They really couldn't fake it that well. It was too much for them. It and was. I can't blame them. Then and I, you know, you know what else? So many of the Apollo astronauts who allegedly went to the moon and all that kept really, when you think about it, low profiles. They, Absolutely. They, they just didn't talk much, and they, they to, to this day they don't talk much.